There are things I need of you, things you may not understand and may not wish to do, but please do not make the same mistakes I did. My father, Howard, deserted me before I was born. I could claim the loss of my mother, and the letter I received after her funeral blinded me to what I had to do. It would be a lie. Human nature sealed my downfall. My name is Philip. If we are lucky, then by the time you receive this, I will be dead. If fate frowns, we all perish. Frictional Game presents the game I'm about to play. Ladies and gentlemen, we are playing Penumbra Overture. My name is Jason, and, well, I already told you what game we are playing, so I guess I don't really need to introduce that any mo any anymore. Uh, this was a, 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 oops. Most people classify it as a horror game put up by Frictional Games back in 2007. Uh, it has one sequel, technically two, I guess. Uh, was it? I've already forgotten the names. <laughs> It's because I'm on camera. Requiem was the last one. Plague, Black Plague, there we go, was the second one. Um, this is sort of the precursor that uh, Frictional did before, we'll say, the Amnesia games, like Amnesia the Dark Descent. Uh, technically, that's the only one Frictional did, so. Anyways, I figured it's October. It's Halloween times coming up. I figured, let's go ahead and play a scary game. I played a little bit of Penumbra, um, but not really a whole lot, so it's pretty much gonna be a, lot, a blind let's play. Um, Let's just go ahead and get started, and then I'll explain stuff as we're playing. Because I know there is a short tutorial at the beginning. So easy for players who are bad at action games, normal, recommended to most players, or hard for players playing a, players wanting a real challenge. Let's go under normal. My story began in February of the year 2000. So apparently our name is Philip. Um, our mother died, and our father was never part of our life. My part this allegory. I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Howard vanished from my mother's life before I was even in it. So when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I've ever heard from him. Pity he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and said the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever taken. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realized my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day, and I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12-hour journey that would lead me into my past. This is all very cryptic. I don't exactly, I don't follow the story, but hopefully I'll be able to decipher things as we, as we go on. So basically, uh, we got a letter and we had some notes and stuff from our father who somehow knew what we were going to do despite him not being in our life for our entire lives. And then he, um, finally, we're almost docked. I better steal my gear. I may be far from home, but chances are I can still pick things up with using left mouse. And I can take a closer look at things using right mouse. Yes, because you left home that your your hands might not work the way they're supposed to. Alright, so, right mouse. Oh, okay. Right mouse is to look at things. It says it's empty. Well, then we have no need for this. It's one of these, it's one of these playthroughs. We're gonna have to go ahead and... Uh, we have to throw things on the ground. That's just how things are done in these types of games, are they not? Yes. 
Let's see, uh, we got a can of soup. Alright, never mind, I'm not gonna get bogged down with playing with the physics. Let's take a look at this map. I'm certain this map's a good decade or so out of date, but landmarks don't change much in Greenland. So I've got a pretty decent idea of where I'm heading. Unless there's a lot of snow, in which case there's not really a lot of landmarks to begin with. So I question how smart our, uh, our protagonist is in this game. A good scientist always keeps a pen and paper handy, just in case. Oh, okay. So always good to have a notebook, N, to jot down interesting information and reminders, P. I think I left my torch in the desk drawer next to the bed. It can be hope open using my left mouse on it, holding the button down and moving the mouse. Thank you, tutorial voice in my head! Let me see, N is my notebook, and P is, I guess, things I'm going to do. Move that lantern out of my way. Now he says torch, I'm assuming, yeah, due to the accent, that's more of the English version of torch, which is a flashlight. The flashlight switches on and off via the inventory tab, or hopefully with the shortcut key F. Hopefully. Now, where's that emergency glow stick? Should be still in the locker. The key's in my inventory. Alright, uh, what do we have here? Playboy poster. It's nice some things don't change no matter how far you are from home. Uh, what's this? What's the, the ones beside it? Are they pictures? Ah. I can't really see. A photo of the fisherman's wife. She's no Playboy bunny, but she looks loving and kind. Really? It looks like the guy holding a fish. And is that Dolly Parton? Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get things actually started. I'm gonna move this chair because I want to see what's in the, the, the chest. So, this uh, playthrough... Uh... I gotta read stuff. Hold up. Dearest Eric, just a quick note before you set sail and leave me once again. I've left you a little something to remember me by in the chest at the foot of your bed. I really don't know why you still have... Still only have one bed on board. Taking shifts because of it is no way to get your rest, but... What does a fisherman's wife know of life at sea? I'll be praying every night for you to make the catch you need so that you can come home to me safely and soon. Please don't be gone for five weeks like last time. I know I might nag sometimes, but I do love you, you know. I washed those overalls of yours. I know you'll get them covered in a sort of fish parts in no time, but I still feel better knowing that you've had a wash. Before I forget, the Henriksons in the village have asked me to see if you'll be coming by any trout, but I said they were mostly out of season. If you do happen upon any, don't say anything. Stow them well in, well in the ice, and I'll do something special with them to celebrate when you come home to me. The ship's captain deserves a little special treatment once in a while. Take care, my love. All right, so the fisherman's wife left a love letter. So we are, we're in the, the, the captain's cabin then, it would seem. So I'm guessing this is not where we slept, or if there's only one... I don't know. Uh, let's see, it told me to check my inventory. So we have the key. Uh, how do we use it? Oh, we double click. Sorry, like I said, I played it once for a bit there. I'm not entirely familiar with things just yet. But they got my torch. Uh, this country seems to exist in a permanent state of twilight. So I guess those are batteries. Ah, some extra batteries to power my flashlight. And the glow stick. Could come in handy if the torch runs out of batteries. I should be able to access it through my inventory or with the shortcut cut. The salt hat key G. G. All right, now, that is a scary picture. Oh dear goodness, close the door. I'm already scared. <laughs> All right, let's head out, uh, head out the door. As I stepped off the boat, setting out into the blizzard that had formed around me, I realized how utterly devoid, devoted, <laughs> I'd been to the discovery of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation or my spirit first but I had lost feeling in my extremities soon after. And new hypothermia was setting in. I started looking for shelter. I don't understand our motivation in this. We're like, we got a letter and then we decide, hey, we're gonna go to Northern Greenland and... So cold, don't know where I am, need shelter soon. All right, so I'm guessing we came down from there and we're, oh, that's right, yes. My entire head went numb a long time ago, but I can still hear the wind roaring past. Or is that some kind of animal in the distance? Um. I don't know. What kind of what kind of creatures live in Greenland? I'm not I'd have to all have to brush up on my geography. Now, a bit of a uh, warning. Ugh, what 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 the in hell is that? I don't care. I need shelter. It looks frozen shut. Need something to break in. Uh okay. I can't open it. It's frozen with the ice. Um something to break in. 
Uh, come on, come on. Don't freeze to death. I just started the game. This will be really embarrassing if I die. Did, did I miss something? There was two paths uh, heading down this way. Now, I'm a very, if you're not familiar with my stuff, I'm a very curious player. So expect this to be very slow, methodical, and uh, if I click and hold the interact button, left mouse, I should be uh, just about managed to pick up that rock. The cold's made me weak, but I can still throw things using the examine button when I'm carrying something. All right, physics-based puzzles. Right, I'm, I'm, it's starting to come back to me. So I'm a very curious person, so I think, yeah, just just expect that. If I use interact mode R, I can swing the stone more accurately. R. Okay, I see how it is. Eh. Come on. Yeah, this is really accurate. Oh, there we go. I hope the god is not frozen inside as well. So weak. But if I just use interact mode, I should be able to turn that wheel a bit easier. Thank you, uh, tutorial person. Okay, can I open this? Oh, okay, it opens that way. And down I go. Uh, so things are going to be a slow and methodical. I'm going to be taking my time through this. And uh, I think that'll actually fit rather well, considering uh, this, like I said, is... It's considered a, a horror game, so... There will be some scary parts. Okay, so I climbed, climbed down the ladder, and I am now in some hole. There's voices in my ear. I think it's tutorial person. Ah, my head! I can't believe I fell that far and survived. Although, looking around, maybe I didn't. What is this place? What is this place? Sorry, that's a reference probably nobody will get. I should have known that rusty old la ladder wouldn't hold my weight, but I didn't have any choice. I'd rather die down here than suffer that cold any longer. Alright, so there's no turning back. Wait. The ladder broke. Where is the rest of the ladder? Was the ladder only that short? Then did it really break? I don't understand. Oh well. Alright, so I suppose we should uh, begin our exploration moving forward here. Let's. Can I move the barrel? No, it's obviously too heavy. I can't move that barrel. What have we got here? Empty boxes of ammunition. What is this place? Okay. There's a bunch of ammo. Do I get guns in this game? I don't think there's any guns in this game. I'd like it if there was guns in this game. But there's probably not. You lit up. Why did you light up? It's a metal rod. Alright. So, yeah, that's what I understood. That the game plays a little bit more like, uh, almost like an old adventure game. Except it's more of a, a 3D sort of setting. You know, you have your inventory and things can go there. Um... Let's go ahead and peek, peek around. Oh! Flare. Oh, okay, I can move this bear. Okay, maybe I can't move it with the mouse necessarily, but if I move my entire character, I can drag it. So heavy objects, I need to move myself to, to be able to actually move. It's stuck. There must be something in the way. Wait, wait. Okay, but there's, there's an opening up there. I like the, I like the music, the sound work. Wait, does... I, I love the setting. It's, 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 uh... Okay, we got a hammer. Let's see, I can swing this hammer if I hold left mouse. I can make a backswing by pulling the right mouse right, and then follow through by pushing left. The opposite works too. Pulling back and then thrusting forward produces a stabbing motion. Yes, I'm gonna stab you with a hammer! Let's edit that out. Yes, I'm gonna stab you with a hammer! <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, that, make, that makes sense. I reckon if I hold down right mouse after the backswing, I should be able to look around. I should still be able to look around. Okay, I'll have to practice with that a little bit. Um, are these hotkeys? This hammer's seen some action in its time. It's a flare. It could be a handy light source. Okay, so we'll pick that up here as well. Oh, I, I suppose I probably put away the hammer. Alright, so, uh, now, from what I understand, like I said uh, before, this game is sort of the precursor to Amnesia. Uh, I have not actually played Amnesia, so I'm still learning, we'll say, the ins and outs of this game and how to how it plays. Is this a can of something? Uh, 
Is that army ra rations? Because that looks kind of like a, like a, one of those old, uh, like, World War uh, propaganda thing. Yeah, World War One kind of propaganda sort of images. Okay. This hole's been boarded up a long time ago. The, look, the wood looks pretty soft now. Can I... Wait, large objects? Move. Body. Okay, so I move the shelf, and now there's an opening here. Whatever. Everything went blue. Okay, so when I crouch, things go... Really colorful. This is a tiny hammer. Stop you with my hammer! Holy crap. Holy frame rate, Batman. Alright, so... I guess, uh, only way to go is forward. What creates a tunnel like this? This is... This is weird. Um... Is the ground settling or something? Okay! We're not going down there! No, no, that's right. They made it. It's a, this is te a, technically a horror game. They're gonna make us go down there. I'm willing to bet that's the only way to go. After we're done exploring, uh, there was another tunnel actually. Oh, can I get, get back up there? Come on, let me up, let me up. There was another way. Oh, I didn't explore the other way. Let me go back. Okay, it won't let me go. Thanks, game. Yeah, that's funneling, funneling me to where the scariness is. Oh! Oh, that, that was the barrel that was in the way. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a stupid. Ah. Uh, Okay, okay, so we'll go back through this tunnel. So yeah, I, you know, I I guess I like horror in concept, but I've never really played a... Oh, it goes at least to the same place. I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, okay, so... The illusion of choice. I like horror as a concept, but... I've never really played through a, a full horror game, or really had one that really... Scared me, but I heard this one had a little more of, like I said, adventure game sensibility. So I was like, yeah, let's give this one a shot. This looks like some kind of industrial mechanism, although there's a hole in the center and no way to operate it. Wait, I, that, that's not true. I like Slender. Although that one there, it's not exactly horror. Wait, is there... Hole in the center. Do you want me to use the steel rod? Of course. It's, like I said, adventure game sensibilities. You see an obstacle. What are you going to do? You're going to apply an inventory item to it. Oh! <laughs> so I open the, the gate that just had the stuff slamming. Okay. Another thing. When I play these games, I, I tend to... When I play any game, really, I, <laughs> I tend to want to play the way I would be in real life. In real life, I'd probably die over in that next room because I'd be like, uh-uh! I'm not opening that up! What kind of crazy crap's down there? Uh-uh! But for the sake of your viewing pleasure or... not, we're gonna... go ahead and open things up, and we're gonna go ahead and adventure on into the dark. I don't know where this leads or what's waiting for me, but unless I want to starve to death, it's my only option. Besides, maybe this place has something to do with my father. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the conclusion I would come to. Whatever I was descending into, it was a hundred feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches, located in a remote arctic wilderness, and buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I'd never given it much thought before, but I realized that our entire society is a network of safety nets, emergency services at the end of the phone line, health and safety in the workplace, friends, family, lovers, all there if something goes wrong part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane of emotions. Once again, I felt like I did when I was in school, surrounded by a closing ring of older kids, knowing anyone that might help me, friends, parents, teachers, were too scared or too far away. Okay, you could have summed this up with, I'm scared! I would have got the idea. 
I've jotted down a note just in case. All right, let's see what the note is. Notes. I don't think that's it. To-do list. The entrance to the cave has caved in. There must be another way out. There could be anything living down here. I doubt it. I doubt it. Heroics are for Hollywood actors and fairy tales. I'm not taking any chances. If I face off against anything down here, I won't lust a second. Caution and stealth are my only defenses now. This beginning to this game is really tutorial-ish. It's, uh, it's kind of killing for me because it's nonsensical, like, logic. It doesn't make sense. Uh, that's what nonsensical means. <laughs> if anyone or anything hears me, I'd be best off staying, staying low and out of sight until I know whether it, or not it's a threat. Crouching by pressing left control will give me the chance to hide in the shadows. I'll know I've got it right because of the blue tint of my vision. There we go. Plus, I should be quiet enough that I won't be hurt unless something's right on top of me. Better remember to shut off any light sources, though. That's right, I haven't played with the flashlight at all. Or the, the glow stick. I don't, probably don't want to crack the glow stick, though, because... The best bet is to hide for a couple seconds or so, perfectly still. That'll make me properly hidden. From... From what? What do we have here? Like that, I'll be virtually invisible, and after some time I should get my night vision back, provided I stay still. So, you only get night vision if you're crouching. This is definitely modeled after real life. It's a wooden box. Not as heavy as it looks. Should Still, it should serve as some form of weapon if I have to defend myself. I get to beat things with... I like this game. Improvised weapons. This place must be old if they're still using paraffin lamps. Looks like there's still some juice left. If only I had some sort of lighter. I got a flare though, right? Can I light this with a flare? Probably not. Well, flare might be a little bit too much. Okay, so we've got... Your location is a red circle. Okay, 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 so I see things here. Uh, so we got the red circle there. It says, I'm here, and these are sort of tunnels. We got explosives, northern area, workshop, storage, and the office. Okay. Uh, let's try. Can I use the flare? No, I can't. Okay, can I put the flare away? I, I want to stop using the flare. No. No, pick it up. Don't leave it on the ground. Oh, crap. No, don't throw it. Sorry, guys, I'm figuring things out. All right, so I've got a flare. Uh, this won't last forever. I feel bad for using it. Ooh, I like how the shadows move. Oh. Is there really a, a purpose? Like, do I have my gamma set too high? Is there a purpose for these flares? Because I can see just fine without the light. So I'm wondering, do things get darker, or should I... Turn down my gamma a bit. You guys decide. You tell me. It cracks me up, though, that it's like, if anything's down here, I'll need to hide. And I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. And the flare burnt out. Let's see. This is towards the storage room. Okay, let's head towards the storage room. Because I'm like, why would there logically be anything here? All evidence you've seen is this is like from World War One era. And it's up in Greenland. Chances are things have pretty much been abandoned at this point. Got some rocks. Storage room. Like, why would something be living there? So the fact that it tells me that, like, I get it's trying to tell me that there's probably going to be something to... Sorry, that sound, the sound of the door closing actually scared me there. I was like, what the heck was that? Uh, what do we have here? What are those? Are those mines? Oh, I heard some skittering. Sounds like a dog. Or somebody doing a bad impression of a dog. 
Locked from the other side. That does mean there's someone. Does that mean there's someone still inside? I can hear chattering. Thank God. Maybe I I've jotted down a note just in case. Good, because I can't read that that quickly. There's a locked door with odd noises coming from behind it in the storage. I wouldn't call those that chattering. Okay, so we have a lighter. If this lighter wasn't empty, it'd be a handy thing to have. So lighter plus fuel equals fire. Happy face. Uh, crouching down, we see what? Bugs equals sad. Yeah, I hear you, man. I, I, I don't like bugs either. Oh, what do we have here? Square plus cir with circles minus circles equals lad ladder, moving square and okay. Got some real quality kindergarten drawings on these walls. But I played enough enough mist ribbon and so on and so forth to know that these are clues for a puzzle somewhere else in the game. Is this door open? Okay. Hello? Hello, box. Oh! You're the square! Okay, and those are the circles. Cool. Uh, I'll get to you in a second. Is there another way back into the- The heck is that? Okay, so no, the, the, that room with the, the chattering, or what he calls it chattering, is off to that, that in that direction, but it's not accessible from where we're at. What are these? Painkillers! In case I get a headache. And more batteries. But given how old this place is... Wait a second, batteries? So I, I guess it automatically fills up the flashlight with power? Because, you know, that's how flashlights work in real life. You just... I usually have my flashlight right next to me. Um, you just take the flashlight and you just keep putting batteries in and you keep getting power. Realism at its finest. What the heck is this? Oh, uh, what the hell? What just happened? I don't know if that was such a good idea. You know, before I go anywhere, I need to save. <laughs> I'm like, uh, uh, let's see, we've got new game, load, load game. Uh oh. Okay, the game has all of a sudden gotten scary for me because I'm like, I don't know how to save. So if I die, is it like a checkpoint system or? It's amazing how much scarier a game becomes when all of a sudden you're like, wait a second, I can't save. I'll have to replay stuff. Uh, once I, I swear, box, I'll play with you in a second, because it's obvious I need to push you, and there's probably good. Oh, there's a ladder underneath you. Okay. Um, anything over here? Okay, you're locked. All right. So we're going to the box. First, we need to pull you out. Be the box without rocks in it. Uh, is it because it's weighed down? And by getting rid of the things that we can actually move the box. Oh, there we go. I guess that makes sense. It's that, that's logical. Uh, can, how does this work? Come on, Jason. There you go. You can open the. There's no ladder. It looks like someone's removed the ladder from these hooks with a pretty blunt saw. Well, I don't want to go down there without the ladder. Is the ladder somewhere else? Because we're in the storage room, right? So would the ladder be at like the workshop? Because I'm thinking like an adventure game, right? So I'm like, do I go back out through those sort of tunnels and try to go to the workshop to get myself a ladder? No, no, surely they wouldn't do that because if I fell down the hole, then we'll say from a game design perspective, that means that I'm stuck in the hole. So a good game designer would have the objective or a way back out from inside the hole. Geronimo! I hear the tutorial voices again. You know, I, I actually, I really love the setting because I, I love eerie, creepy settings, but 
I, I love that I haven't I haven't got hit by like jump scares or anything because those, uh, those are very we'll say oh do, can I can I get back up with like the, the barrel can I like drag the barrel over and then jump my way up because like horror games are notorious for having like uh, can I jump now no I can't jump for having like just jump scare after jump scare but there we go physics puzzle okay so Sounds like a dog. I think there's a, like, it smells like a, a little spider web that I don't know what you're, okay, yeah, there you go. Ugh, spiders in small places. I don't know if I can go through with this. I think I can hear the pitter-patter of tiny feet. Okay, so our guy here, uh, Philip, he doesn't like spiders. What was that? Was that, was that, was that the game saving or? Cause it just flashed for a second. I don't know what happened. Okay, let's 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 continue our. Exp oh, there is a ladder. There's the ladder. And we have a dead end. Okay. Well, I'm sure a ladder is nicer than trying to jump up on a barrel. I hear a lot of little footsteps, which kind of worries me because, you know, he's talking about spiders, but. Spiders don't tend to make footstep sounds. They're typically not big enough. What if they are big enough? There we go. I like that. There's, there's multiple uh, solutions to this. I, I, I've always kind of liked that about, um, so, you know, some games like physics-based physics, physics -based, um, puzzles or phys uh, games with a lot of physics in them. Uh, where you can kind of get creative and find new ways to solve things. Okay, so we went that way. We found the ladder. Let's go straight. Hello? What the heck is that? Okay, there's a flare over there. What is that? A horrible sight. Luckily, it's mummified or else the smell would have been awful. I'll go check out what that is in a second. I want to go get this... Okay, this is a dead end anyways. All right, day one. I begin this record still in the hope that the great work we have undertaken here might one day be of scientific value, despite the chaos which has, has ensued in the six hours previous. My aim is to remain secure until what help there may be arrives. And to that end, I have barricaded myself into a small workshop area in the abandoned part of the mine. Workshop, okay, maybe that's, maybe that's in the next place we're gonna go. I hope that the meager food rations here will keep me alive, and that those I hide from will not jeopardize that. Those I hide from. Perhaps this mine really is cursed. It's almost precisely 30 years since the incident that brought us here, and now 30 years on, fate has struck again. I forecasted that today the rescue crews would arrive, but I can only hypothesize that they would be unaware of my location, and hence busy themselves evacuating the other survivors. If they have not arrived by tomorrow, I will go out in search of them. Day six, my first mistake was to make assumptions on the matter of rescue. My second mistake was to make assumptions on the safety of this mine. My third mistake was to act on both those assumptions in going outside of my safe haven. Remember how I said if it was actually me, I would stick in one spot. That's what I would have done, but because it's a game, I'm gonna keep going. See, I, th that's, that's exactly what I would have done. It was what this guy is saying. He's assuming that the mine is safe. And actually a lot of my movement has been kind of, we'll say reckless. I, I, I've been a little bit less cautious. So uh, this, is, this is telling me I gotta, I gotta watch myself here. My best estimate is that I left the workshop where I was secured about two days ago in search of aid. And I found only danger. I approached the old living quarters, but curiously could find no sign of life whatsoever. I returned in what I thought was the direction from which I had come, but soon found myself in an unfamiliar locale. Confused, but focused, I attempted to make my way home, but found myself threatened by some species of feral creature. 
which seems to have made its, this old mine its home. Although the specimen bore significant interest to me, I chose to retreat, only to find myself outmaneuvered and outnumbered by the beasts. I turned and ran, injuring my ankle in the process, which I believe now is most likely a sprain rather than a fracture. But for some time, I cowered and fled into the dark, but a few hours ago I discovered a door leading to a smaller, disused part of the mine, the key for which I still have in my pocket. Okay, so we, we're, we need to find this guy. He's probably going to be dead, but we're going to find this guy, and he's going to have the key with him. And that's going to lead to somewhere else uh, in the game, so keep an eye out for a locked door. Um, let's see, within that area, I discovered this storeroom, and I think that it should keep me safe for some time. This place is a maze. Wonderful! I love mazes! My lesson learnt. I will not venture out again until I am certain the area is safe. Day 19. Rescue seems increasingly unrealistic. Supplies diminishing. Lots of spiders in this place. I do not like spiders! I caught one of the accursed eight-legged beasts nestling in my open mouth when I woke up this morning. Ugh. In my surprise, I swallowed it. It's not so much the act of swallowing which concerns me, but the genus of arachnid. It would be unlikely that a cave-dwelling spider would be venomous to any significant degree, but the possibility troubles me all the same. Day 35. Any known venom would have affected me by now, and so today is the first minor cause of, for celebration I've had since the incident. By lucky coincidence, this revelation also means I have discovered a virtually inexhaustible supply of nutrition. Oh, okay. I intend, I, I intend to venture into the basement beneath this storeroom in the name of science to discover more about those creatures' natural habitat. Day 50. For four days now, I have been surviving solely off the quite considerable sustenance provided by the spiders. For some time, I was struggling to gather enough of the crunchy little morsels. However, Lady Luck smiled on me once more when the batteries in my torch died and I made a second life saving finding. The creature's natural habitat is the dark. With my light now diminished, I need only lie still for a few minutes and I will have attracted enough of the beast for a rather hearty meal. <laughs> oh, well, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive, right? Okay. So he's... I get the feeling that these are spiders, but the fact that he ate them... I'm wondering how big they really are. What the heck are you? Okay, so it looks like the corpse of a dog. So... What I was hearing was the dog. It must have been a dog. Okay, I'm turned around now. Wait, which way did I come from? I came from over here. That's right, there's a Y here. Uh, no, wait. Oh crap, I am turned around. I came down this way, because I remember seeing the steam this way. And steam, why is there steam? Are there pipes? That steam could blister flesh from bone in an instant. I know, I've seen it happen. Okay, so the game is warning me not to go, and I do see pipes. Okay. So we'll go this way. I have a feeling we're not supposed to go that way yet. Uh, we'll go past the mummified dog. And now we will... which way do we go? All the sound of skittering. I hear movement over here. Oh, okay, this leads us back out. So I went straight. And it basically led me back around. Okay, the mummified dog is here. Is that all that there is down here? Yeah! So the only way it really past this is to go past the steam. But if I go past the steam, I'm totally getting... Okay, go quick. Ah! I didn't go fast. I didn't go fast enough. So avoid the steam. So that means something's still running here. If it's generating steam. Wow, more stuff to read. My voice is killing me after this. Day 71. My earlier assumptions on the benign nature of my cellmates may have been made in error. After a careful autopsy, I'm concerned that there may be a small volume of natural chemicals stored in the stomach, which, if ingested regularly over a period of time, may become psychotropic or even lethal. My only real chance is to break out of here and raid any stashes of supplies I can find. However, the evidence against such a move is insurmountable. I have no source of light. I swore to myself I wouldn't leave until I heard human voices outside. And three, spiders are so tasty. Day 100. 
From the marks I've been making on the walls and my scribbled diary entries, which in the dark may amount to an illegible scrawl. It, it seems pretty readable here, but when you see it on the ground, you can definitely tell it's just sort of scribbled. Today is the hundredth day of my new life. Over the past month, my edible friends have become more and more aggressive and have swelled in number and size. Okay, so when he was eating them, I guess they were smaller. Whether or not this is a result of my plundering their ecosystem, I am unsure. However, at this rate of growth, they will soon be too large to crawl through the gaps in the walls. For all I know, I could only be seeing the tip of the iceberg. If all fails and I am never recovered, I hope at least that my study of, and indeed involvement with, these fascinating creatures will one day be regarded as an important point in natural history. The greatest names in modern science got there through more got there more through fluke than talent and it appears that this rule has extended itself to my discovery of this delicious new species i only pray that the second rule deems my breakthrough too insignificant for all great discoveries tend to consume their inventor okay, what do we have here wait if it weren't for the size of the pieces i would say that it looks like eggshells oh i know what happened to the dog now We've got giant spiders! Lovely! Okay, steam gone. Move past. Steam gone, go! Okay, so I, I just t make time my way through there. No! The lock! Can't open it with that lock intact. What if it's not intact? Oh yeah! Check out these pipes. Okay, they're kind of small. Never mind. My muscles are unimpressive to say the least. Fluid lighter gas. Oh, I can I can light up my I can turn my lighter on now. Can we break these? Is there anything inside? Or are they just here for world building? I think they're just here for world building. What's inside the chest? We have... Okay, those are batteries, so let me see. Battery power's there, green. After picking them up, I think it's added a little bit of... Oh yeah, 70% battery life left. So, picking up batteries seems to... Uh, it, it, it's not necessarily like a refill for your, um, your flashlight, it just increases the battery life. Which makes no sense whatsoever, but whatever, okay. So this tells me that we need the lighter for something. Obviously, because it's in the game, they wouldn't just red herring us, would they? No, I don't think they would. I'm scared because I, 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 I'm like, if, <clears throat> I want to save, right? Go. Okay, wait, wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Go. Go, go, go. Oh, and darn it, that one there. I was too far back when I started running. I'm losing blood, but I should be okay. Um, I'm losing blood. Oh, so I must have like scorched my 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 like the skin off my arm or something, and I'm that doesn't make sense, would it? Okay, so I I think we're done here. Okay, so we have confirmation that the guy was alive. That was right here, wasn't it? That that wasn't open before, was it? Wait, no. Wait, what, what size is the ladder on? Ah, uh, okay, no, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't have something right up at the top of the ladder. That doesn't make sense. I can go up the ladder, and there should not be anything there. Because that would just be a, a, a really jerky move. I, I think someone's been dragged through here. I've never seen this much blood before. I, that was my best chance to get some answers. Who else is still down here? Okay, well, I haven't seen any blood, but... Thanks, game, for telling me that there was... I'm gonna stop!
stay in here? Let's block block the door. Come on, come on. Move move the chest. Block the door. Jason, the door opens the other way, you moron. I knew that. Hello? All right, so that door op is open. Um, it's telling me which way to go. So if I find anything, it's gonna be straight through that door ahead of me. Because I'm pretty sure that the guy was dragged from here. Let me see. Yeah, because we heard noises in here before, so... Hello? I love how I'm, I'm talking to the game, I'm like, hello? Anybody here? Alright, so there's our key. And there's a pencil. Which we don't- That's a heavy pencil! I, I know there's a note there, but my, my throat's tired, so I'm gonna... Take a break from reading that for a second. Uh, so Buddy was carving in that he really likes these spiders. All right, guys, you know what? Uh, I've actually, this is, I wanted to do kind of a, a longer first episode to sort of just get things started off, uh, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and end things here. Um, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna look up one thing, I'm sorry. I gotta look up how the saving system in this game works, and I'll have that answer for you, for you next time because I don't want, uh, I don't wanna lose all my progress, right? So, um, I will look that up. That's pro the only thing I'm going to look up. I'm going to try to keep things as blind as possible. Um, but yeah, I'd like to thank you so much for joining me uh, in Penumbra Overture. This is uh, actually I really I'm really liking the setting. Uh, I'm liking that I'm not there's not like monsters around every corner. I haven't seen everything. But then again, you know, it's pretty early in the game. But I'm liking that it's got that sort of um, le let your imagination play tricks on you thing so far. Anyway, so it's it's really good. It's it's kind of got me a little bit on edge, but. So far, I'm uh, I'm I'm pretty good. So, uh, if you like this content, if you want to see me continue this, if you want to see more of this type of thing, please remember to like, to comment, uh, subscribe so you don't miss anything. If you didn't like it, let me know why so I can improve things in the in the future. Because uh, I, I use this kind of information to prioritize what kind of content I'm going to be making. Uh, you know, when I'm recording, I'm like I sit down, I've got my list. Okay, this here has this many likes. This here has this. More people, the people really seem, tend to like this. I'm going to work on this. So. Let your voice be heard. Let me know what you guys want. Um, next time, we're going to continue exploring. We'll probably follow the path of this blood and probably read this letter and, um, yeah, more spooky fun in Penumbra Overture. But until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on.